Okay, so there's one more step to being able to do everything that you need to do in our studio and Quarto, and that's you need to install LaTeX. So LaTeX is a typesetting language. It helps you make PDFs, which we're going to use in this class. And there's a million ways to install LaTeX. It's basically like another programming language. So if you have used it in some other course before, um, like a math class or a higher level computer science class, um, you probably already have it installed. But if you have never used it before, the very easiest way to install it is to paste this code into your RStudio console. So I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to go to RStudio, and I'm going to paste that in. And I'm going to hit Enter. And hopefully this is just going to work. OK, mine wants an administrator's name and password to be able to make changes. So let me do that. OK, so now it looks like it's going. Um, I can see that little progress bar coming across. Um, I do see a little message here that says the directory user local bin is not writable. I recommend that you make it writable. And I've seen this pop up before when um, things have gone wrong. So we'll see if uh, we'll see if this gives me an error or not. And I'm just going to wait and see what happens. Okay. So let's see. Um, I do see that it says an error has occurred. See above messages exiting and it's got this destination not writable no links from blah 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 but some of this stuff looks like it worked so i'm just going to do a quick test to see if it worked i'm going to go to file new file and quarto document and i'm going to select pdf and click create and this is just a blank quarto document and i'm going to click this render button and see if it works The stuff running down here, is it trying to make it into a PDF? Um, and I can see there's a little stop sign. That means it's still going. It's got the time that it took. Um, and right now it looks like it's going okay. It says it's updating and stop, uh, you know, packages, it's finding a package. So this is kind of like initialization stuff that happens the very first time that you run it. It'll be faster the second time that you run it. So I think that that actually worked. So this is a PDF. It's popping up in my local host viewer. Um, I could change uh, where it goes by saying that I want to preview in the viewer pane. And then if I click render again, it should show up down here instead of in my web browser. Yep. And let's go look at my files. I think it was in my stat 320 folder and let's go by modified okay untitled that pdf is there so even though when i ran that tiny tech install tiny tech i got some messages about the directory not being readable um, and some other errors when i did that uh, trial to try and render my quarto document it actually did work